Welcome, Joshua Benizia. Come Batania. On, Joshua! I got it wrong. Sorry. Start clock. <laughs> hey guys. Uh, so my name is Joshua. Uh, you might recognize my accent from your bank's customer support. <laughs> uh, I think. Um, be, be, thank you. Uh, be, being brown in the UK, you know, pe people make assumptions of where you're from. So I just like to clarify, I'm from India, uh, <laughs> not from the other shitholes uh, <laughs> like Birmingham or Croydon. <laughs> or I'm, I'm what's uh, considered an uh, immigrant, uh, an expat if I was white. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, thank you again, man. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've been in the country a few years, you know. Uh, I've met a lot of uh, interesting people. Uh, I met, uh, how do you say it in English, uh, a racist the other day, uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool. He had very, <laughs> he had very boilerplate racism though, you know, where, where he goes, uh, immigrants need to be more um, British, which is obviously subtext for be more white. Uh, now normally I would have gotten offended, but uh, this year I've been practicing empathy. Uh, <laughs> And I, um, and I thought to myself, you know, uh, maybe some of all of this is coming from some place of logical thinking, right? <laughs> but, because can you imagine if uh, someone came into your country, forced their culture, refused to learn the language, started stealing your things, started taking away your jobs, refused to learn the language, got into your politics. not done yet. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, that would, I mean, you get the idea, right? That would be insane. Um, so India's got its uh, own brand of racism where we're racist to each other despite being of the same race. Uh, so much so, uh, when I was a kid, people used to ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I'd say, I want to be white. Uh, I mean, if Michael Jackson can do it, why can't I, right? <laughs> Uh, if uh, Michael Jackson can do it, why can't I? Is no longer a philosophy I live by. I, I just wanna, just wanna, well done. Uh, nice. Yeah. Nice joke. So, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be uh, British, you know, whatever that means. Uh, I thought a good place to start would be watching some television. That's always great. Uh, so I watched. Uh, <laughs> I watched this, uh, this show where they've uh, rounded up a bunch of really good-looking people, right? Horny as fuck. Uh, <laughs> probably emotionally dead on the inside. Uh, and, uh, and they're uh, put in an island. And they are made to, if I may quote a famous philosopher, find love in a hopeless place. <laughs> the, uh, The, the show is called uh, Love Island, uh, <laughs> or as I like to call it, the UK. Uh, um, I, I'm also uh, trying to get into football, you know, that's a good way to be English, right? Uh, give me a cheer if you're a football fan. <laughs> give me a cheer if you don't give two shits about football. <laughs> Uh, I wrote a bunch of football jokes, so we might have to... Uh, so, uh, so the, uh, you know, the World Cup uh, is coming up uh, next year. So the... So the, so the football fans, what do you think? Is it coming home? Uh, I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, y'all should stop inventing things y'all are not good at. Uh, 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 like, um, I mean, here's a list. 
<laughs> you know, like football, cricket, English. Uh. Joshua Batania, finalist number three. Joshua! We have a result. We do. We do. And yeah. our winner is. It's Joshua. Yeah! <laughs>